Hello, I'm Thomas Hampson, and this is Louise Toppin. Welcome to Song of America, a celebration of black music. Uh, an extraordinary journey has been underfoot that finally finds itself in Hamburg at the Elbphilharmonie for three evenings of a celebration of African-American poets and African-American composers. The first evening we are celebrating the uh, most iconic, most well-known uh, African-American poet, Langston Hughes. He not only became internationally famous for his beautiful poetry, but he was the seminal voice of the black people in his time, given the pride of culture, the pride of history, and the pride of color. Uh, very, very, very exciting. And uh, in this evening of one poet with many different composers' voices, I think it was you that came up with a fantastic idea of how to, how to get us through this. So what, yeah. how was our structure? So we structured that the beginning of the concert is looking at German composers who set Langston Hughes um, because he was such an inspiration. And then the middle of the program is Robert Owens, and that is uh, honoring composers who were Americans who moved or expatriated to Germany and wrote in both German and in English, so honoring both parts of their lives and their work as Americans in German. And then the last section is Americans who came to study with Nadia Boulanger, that most important professor of composition. And so we in, have in Paris. In Paris. Yeah. They came to Paris, but several of them. Um, there were six African Americans out of all the, the students that came to work with her, and we're honoring about three of them on this program. And, and one of them, uh, Margaret Bonds. Mm -hmm. But Margaret Bonds has been a complete passion and love of yours. Yes. I mean, you have found new songs, you have published new songs. In fact, just a new publication. We did. Right? I mean, yes. I, I love her music. One of the first poems that she, she knew of Langston Hughes was mm -hmm. The Negro Speaks of Rivers, and they became very close friends. But mm -hmm. tell us something about Margaret Bonds. Sure. Well, Margaret Bonds first met Langston Hughes when she was a student uh, studying at Northwestern. And his, his poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers, is exactly the poem that helped her through a very difficult time of racism in the United States while she was studying. And they did. They collaborated on songs and um, musicals and popular music. So he was a very important influence in her life. And so we wanted to honor her work and my life's work of finding these songs and publishing them because one of the issues with African-American music is the inaccessibility of the scores in years past. We just could not get them published for many reasons, um, but they just didn't exist. So I have also created a research tool to try to help people called the African Diaspora Music Project.org, which helps anybody who has an interest in this music to go online, it's free, and to just type in whatever information you know, your voice type. Part of the arc over all of this, the Song of America project, is that this is American culture. And too often it's been handled as just African-American culture within something called American. That's just nonsense. This is American culture. And Langston Hughes is everyone's poet. Yes, he's African-American, but he's an American mm -hmm. cultural icon. It is truly a celebration yes. of, of everybody, music and ages and passing on and gathering together. And we hope people will enjoy hearing music that they haven't had an opportunity to hear previously. I had some people be nervous about that. And I want to say, don't be nervous about it. I've learned a lot of music in this in this program. Yes, this is a this is a, a bit of a discovery for everyone, and that's what it should be. Right, and we picked music we hope will the audience will be enticed by. We didn't pick anything that's no. too um, abstract. This is not a lecture not recital. That, no. This is a celebration. It's not academic. It is it is music that's accessible and that it, you'll enjoy. Our pleasure.
Das letzte Gestirr seinen Ruf erhält, bis der letzte stampelt, bis das letzte Atom im All zerschellt, bis der Zeit sich verliert und der Himmel versinkt und selbst der Raum im Nichts verdrängt. Tod, die Trommel, rasse Trommel, It's 
himself is nothing nowhere. The tone is a drum, a signal drum, calling for life to come. Come, Ein Mädchen gelb mit Agnes mir, war ihr Vater kein Weißer, so wundert's mich sehr. Sie trinkt keinen Schnaps und sie mag nicht Likör. Ich frag sie heute Nacht, ja, wo kommst du denn her? Und sie sagte, Süße, weiß nicht, wer ich bin, weiß nicht, wie ich herkomm, nicht, wo ich gehe. Hin. Du armes kleines Mädel mit Augen wie Smir, wenn dein Vater kein Schuft war, so wundert's mich sehr. Nun sitzt sie im Saal, weint wie ein Kind, weint und ist traurig. Beginnt. Mein 
strange, but that there should be three barren hearts in this one house in Taos, who carries ugly things to show the sun. Did you ask the beaten crab of the moon? We can buy lovely things with nobody, you, she, and I. Yet you seek as though you could keep this one but loveliness of moon. Touch a body's win. Our bodies are separate, individual thing. Touch a body's win, but not quickly. Through the red, white, yellow skin of our bodies to the terrible snarl not mine not yours not hers but of the one snarl of souls blow quickly wind before we run back into the windless nurse without
To fling my arms wide 